You are welcome to another video of ISIS routing protocol concept and configuration. In this section, we will talk about ISIS area design and how it differs from OSPF routing protocol area design. We will also discuss the advantage of area structure in ISIS routing protocol. The area structure in ISIS has similarity and differences with OSPF. Both follow somehow a hierarchical structure. In OSPF, each normal area is connected to the backbone area and normal areas communicate with each other through the backbone area. But in ISIS, areas must be connected to each other through a backbone path which is displayed here with a green color. In OSPF, rotors determine the boundary between areas but in ISIS, links determine the boundary between areas in ospa we call internal rotors of normal area internal rotors in ISIS we call internal rotors of an area level one or l1 rotors in ospf we call rotors of the backbone area as the backbone rotors but in ISIS we call the rotors existing in the backbone pass l2 or level 2 rotors. In OSPF, ABR rotors is the border of normal areas with the backbone area. In ISIS, we call the rotors that are connected to level 1 rotors from one side and to the backbone pass from the other side, a level 1, level 2 rotors. These two figures show the differences in the structure of area in OSPF and ISIS. The figure clearly shows that in ISIS, level 2 rotors form the backbone pass and all areas are connected to each other through the backbone pass. You can also see that the border between areas in ISIS is a link, not rotors as it is in OSPF. In ISIS, each rotor is located exactly in one area. Unlike OSPF where border rotors or ABR area border rotor are located in several areas. For example, this ABR is connected to both area 1 and area 0 or backbone area. Surely this question will arise for you. Does the structure of area in ISIS also create an advantage? The answer to this question is certainly positive. In ISIS, it's not only much easier to expand the area, but it's also possible to directly communicate between areas through the backbone pass. In ISIS, if there is a direct link between two areas by adding rotors at both end of the link to the backbone pass, it will be possible to send traffic on the link and directly between areas. In this way, in ISIS, traffic is forwarded in a more optimal way in the network infrastructure. And this is one of the basic requirements of all service providers. And it is one of the important reasons why service providers prefer to use ISIS instead of OSPF. In OSPF, if there is a direct link between to normal areas, it's not easy to forward the traffic between two areas through the link and a special measures such as virtual link should be used to move the traffic directly between normal areas. This figure shows an example of the structure of area in ISIS where we have a direct connection between area 3 and area 4. For direct communication between two areas, it is enough for the rotors at both ends of the link to be just located in the backbone pass, in the pass which all rotors are at least level 2 rotors.